Welcome back everyone, my name is Eltamar and we are going to be continuing our let's play of Celasta, Crown of the Magister. Where we left last time, we were headed into the next elemental zone. We are leaving this area, we're on our way to try and kill the Sorax and to get the crown back and stop the rift from being opened and this is a really cool and weird looking place. We are in a sideways land, I'm going to push this because we need to apparently so that some of our less gifted climbers can get up to the top. There's also a treasure chest just over there. We're going to send it our rogues. Effortless. She can uh, walk on walls, so that is pretty much the best plan of action for her. And we found a healing potion, a unidentified potion, and another thing. There is more to climb. I don't see any enemies yet, but that doesn't mean there aren't any coming up ahead, and there's Definitely some lootables around. Alright, let's push this thing. I think we have to. It's a bridge. I'm going to send her down to the bottom to loot this. And I grab all that. Oops. Did not mean to unclick that. I'm going to give her some arrows as well, because I forgot to before, and it's caused us the tiniest bit of annoyance. She now has flash buzz bolts. Bolts won't work for her. Alright, it's fine. Push that while we're here, and you push that while we're there, and you, oh no, you push that while we're here. Make this as easy as possible for our group to do anything with. Because our group is not the best, well, that's not true. Half of our group is really good at athleticism Didn't stuff, and the it. other half are not very good at it. Our, clear, our mage is making her way over slowly. There's nothing here yet for enemies, though. It's weird. All right, let's loot this thing, and we'll go down there and loot that thing. Just some random potions again. Random healing potions. There's a another barrel up here. Anyone see any enemies yet? No? Random junk. Okay, you go push that one. You go push that one. You two move down here. And then you can go grab this thing. We're almost at the end and there's no enemies yet. I don't know why we're getting things like golden statuettes, which are just actual loot. But here we are. Go push that. That should help our wizard across, maybe? Guess we'll find out. Everyone goes up here. You can push this one. You have trained well. And this one. Uh. And then go get the treasure. Nothing here, no enemies. Another potion and a scroll. Alright, everyone, let's get down here then. Guess it's time. I wonder what that one's supposed to be pushed for. I don't think it matters. Next area. Alright. That was a very puzzly area, I guess. Well, not really puzzly, just sort of traversy terrain y. Now, we all took a teensy bit of damage from falling. This is a very ominous looking area. Maybe we should prayer of healing again. It doesn't do a whole lot, usually, so. At least not the level 2 version of it. Let's top up. There we go. Just top up our hit points a little. Doesn't hurt to do that. Not seeing any enemies yet, though. Up across to this zone? No? Okay. Uh, anything yet? No. Yes. No? No. This is an ominous looking temple arena zone thing, though. Okay. You push that one. You push. No. You can't push that one? Okay. How about you push that one? Such athleticism. Wait. 
<gasps> no, move. I just realized my people were standing directly underneath it. This is fine. Everything is okay. Let's go up to here. There's a rock thingy. We just get up to here. How about right to there? Oh, you are going a horrible way. Uh, maybe not. It's fine. I don't see any enemies yet. Let's approach the temple, I guess. What's the worst that could happen? I don't see anyone. At all. It's we- oh, there's this- this is definitely gonna be where the final fight is, I think. This is looking like a- well, it's definitely an amphitheater of some sort, but... This is it! The rift! Is it open? Again? Hard to say. I see a bunch of Sorax, but not the countless horde they're expecting. And no god. That guy is very cool looking. They're doing it! The damn ritual! This is it, friends. This is when we make history or die. Yes, those are generally the options. Alright, we have many enemies. Justice will prevail. To the bitter end. Let's make this bitch pay once and for all. If we were destined to fail, we would have perished already. Alright. Well, that's not the most, you know, helpful thing. But let's jump down here and we're gonna move in. We're gonna open with a fireball, I think. There are Sorks patrolling. We're gonna save. Defeat the Tashar is our goal. We need to go up a teensy bit more. Maybe more over this way, because I don't really want to run into a pillar in my opening salvo. Want to do a level 4 fireball right in the midst. Or not. I guess we're doing initiative rolls first. Fine. Never mind. I mean, that was a nice killing field. Uh, let's move her up to, like, here. Let's just make her the central target for literally everyone. Standing on top of a pillar. Well, not really a pillar, but you know what I mean. Let's not... Wait, where are these assassins? I know there's two of them. Where are they? I don't see them anywhere. Which is never a good thing for an assassin. Alright, let's just move up ready action and see what happens. It'll be fine. The Tashar needs to die. Oh, they're surprised on their way over there. Okay, this is fine then. Let's move up to here. He's still stealth. Never mind. He is no longer stealth. And you can come up here and cast Spirit Guardians. Wrong. Correct. Alrighty. There's a black dragon somewhere? Where? Is it on our side? An extraordinary jump. It is on our side. I don't know what it is, or where it came from. And there's a gold dragon too. I mean that makes the fight Oh. Why would you go in the midst of the things? Now I can't fireball them. Are gold dragons resistant to fire? Um, 
Well, I was kind of hoping to do some, you know, fireballing, but I guess that's not going to be the case. I don't want to kill the dragon by accident, but we're just going to do a normal attack. Ha! Take that, you uh, we did do 30 damage. That is actually a really solid firebolt. The dragon took a little bit of damage, necrotic damage, and the Tashar healed a little. Now we do have an interesting situation here. Uh, no. I think the dragon counts as a sneak attacker. It does not? Yes it does. Yeah. So we actually got to sneak attack because the dragon was there. Normally we wouldn't have because... The dragon's getting pounded on. At least the dragon has more than 18 armor. The abomination is nearly dead. I don't think we're going to be able to get into range of it, though. That kind of hurt a little bit. Maybe we'll be able to get into range. We definitely are. Okay, so let's move up and kill the assassin, and then maybe we can backslash the abomination. Or maybe we should attack the abomination. Oh, okay. We're definitely not going to kill the assassin, so let's move on to the abomination. Again, abomination harder. dead. Assassin. Eight whole damage. Nice. Actually, the minimum it could have been. There's a lot of very annoying legendary actions, but that makes sense. Being as this is the final fight of the game. Let's move up to here. I think that should bring up spirit guardians and hit some of the things. What went wrong there? Well, the fact that you ran into melee wasn't really ideal. Move up. Let's just move straight into melee range of this guy. And we'll have the assassin there too. That skirmisher actually hit me for once. Black dragon's moving in. That was something. Oh, thankfully we didn't have to do a saving throw. Although that assassin definitely just got pasted. The fact that the dragons are um, stacking is weird. That one flying without flapping its wings? It moved somewhere else. Well done. I mean, it did take a bunch of damage, kind of, I guess. And the skirmisher's now dead. We missed with our opportunity attack. It is moving away a little bit. It missed its attack. And it missed its attack. Okay, it's trying to shoot spines in melee. Why didn't it just do more necrotic damage? Anywho, let's just shoot it with a firebolt. We hit it for 14, not the worst. It did okay, heal no. for seven. All right, we're moving in. I think. Oh shit, there was an assassin. Now ah, we're fine. They're missed entirely. I'm not gonna lie, I forgot the assassin was there. We did hit the Tashar by for a lot. We hit her for 50 now, or sorry, uh, for 53 plus 9, 62 damage in one hit. That's pretty solid. Huh? Did it miss? I guess we can try to finish it off and just get it out of the way. It was Die. frightened, so it dis had disadvantage. That's pretty great. Let's go hit this other thing that we need to kill. We can use an action surge to try and finish it off as well if we don't kill it this round. But I think we might finish it off this round. Never mind. Let's continue. Go to hell. All right, we did win the fight. I'm. Um, was that probably wasn't the final fight, right? That was pretty easy. We did it. The Magister is coming back to life. Hold. What?
No, the dragons have died. It's open! No! Hold! I thought that was it! He said hold! We need to hold! Against a whole army? Look! He's closing the rift! Protect the Magister! Nothing else matters! Okay, well the dragons are gone, which is a little bit unfortunate, and the battle has started. What are we fighting? Probably just tons of Sorax, right? Yep. I'm gonna let them come to me a little bit. I think I'm just gonna move up, like a step or two. And I'm just gonna sort of delay action, I think. Let's just ready an attack if someone comes in. There are some stealthy boys coming in. They move very fast, so apparently they're going to be in range with no time at all. Uh, we could probably fireball this whole group. Which is what I'm going to do. Let's see if we can reach from here. That's all of them. It looks, it's hard to tell with the rift graphic. But I'm pretty sure that was at least most of them. Yeah, it seemed to be most of them. That one's coming in. It's a shh. It's a whatever it's called. And she missed Black Viper. Critical miss, of course. That makes sense. That is our life. We still have Guardian Spirits up, so I'm going to move her, like, here. To try and... Nope, we found something. But we can't move there. I'm going to move there. This is fine. Well done. Right side, we got an extra attack off. We did take 20 damage. And I kind of want her to just stand there, because there's another... There's going to be more things coming in. But now she can't attack. I guess she can't attack this one, technically, because it's... It was just discovered this turn? Is it still technically stealth, I guess? I don't know how to describe it. We should kill this guy first. He's got legendary actions, and that's just annoying. It would be no. really super nice if I'd stop rolling twos. Tens are better. You know what? I'm fine with tens. Fours are not as good as I had hoped. Another legendary action. And it's gonna miss again. A 7 to hit is not enough. Acolyte is flying. We can probably shoot it under the air if we're careful. Oh, there's some serious shock there for a second. That was weird. I can't attack this guy, so. We could cunning action disengage. But I think I'll just take the AOO. Which I kind of regret doing now. But I really want to kill this guy. Like, a lot. Nice Almost killed him. Plus shield and just not take the damage on that first attack. And then disadvantage for the second attack. Good enough for me. There's some more assassins coming in. That one's shadow murdered up. It's moving in somewhere. Our cleric's gonna have to cast some spells. Alright, let's cast another fireball. Let's use our powers though. It's Arcane Fury up. Okay, we're gonna put it here, but we're gonna move it up one. Did alter shift. There we go. That should hit most things. A victory fit for a soul. Don't know if, I don't think we hit the assassin, but can't really. Can't do it all. That is annoying. Definitely healed up a bunch. What other spells do we have? Let's put a something. What do we got? Hold monster, flame strike, dispel good and evil, mask your ones. Oh, this is going to be jumping out at me. It's awesome. So let's put this guy to defend the group a little. Here. Man, I keep getting logged out of my work computer. Shh, don't tell anyone. Legendary action. It's going to attack or something. Uh, we got indomitable, and we rolled pretty okay. Two of our people are frightened. And we can stop rolling fours. Please. Eight is fine. Fine with an eight, I guess. Not that I don't have not that I have much of a choice in the matter. 
Now we do have Frightened and... Who else is Frightened? Two people are Frightened. Duration's one minute? That's a very long Frightened. That's gonna suck. Deal with it. That hurt. Frightened lasts way too long. Alright, so she's gonna do stupid things and run off and get attacked by everyone. Maybe she'll make a will save later. Oh, are you okay? Everyone's just getting AOs. At least they didn't move too far, I guess. Another abomination has moved in, and here comes all the other AOs for this other character. Also the mist, nice. Oh, Except for that one. If it doesn't kill you. We'll stop running through the enemies then. Alright, what do we got now? Could attack that one, I guess. Looks like the fear is worn off. On our mage, at least. Yes, it's worn off entirely. So next turn should be fine. We missed, of course. I mean, because you suck. You haven't hit many things this game, let's be clear. Oh, that's a very annoying. The fact that it's a legendary ability is super irritating because it can do it multiple times. I mean, at this point we just, like... What now? What's your next legendary ability? Hurry up. You're taking up all the turn time. <laughs> it is ridiculous how many things you get to do around. What happened to our wizard? I guess he just walked, so... Our rogue's turn? Oh, she got re-feared, of course. Which means it gets another... Nope, wait, where is it? It's right there. It made its will save. Excellent. Right side, at least it's not hitting super hard this time. Alright. Can I... No, I still don't... I haven't had a turn in, like, a while. This is very irritating. Fear is a stupid ability. Right side, I think we can get a pretty decent fireball going here. A level 4 fireball, because we're at a level 3 fireballs. If I fire it here, I'm going to hit some of our own people, but if I fire it here, I don't think I hit any of our people. If I do, nope, I definitely hit our own person if we do it there. But it's only the guardian spirit thingy. That's not bad. Let's do it there. Another victory. I don't know exactly what I killed. But some things died. That's all that matters. It's very close to death, it just needs to not... Why did you throw a thing in melee? Ah! Not that it's not working, just... Just seems very strange to me. Um, I'm gonna move her over here and use not cure, not spare the dying, mask your wounds on our group because everyone's a little bit hurt, and it's that time of day to heal everyone up. Thanks. Especially our rogue who took the beating of her life. All right. Yeah, what are you going to do? Another fear? No, you're attacking? Okay, good. Fear's not that bad. We finally get an action. Let's go take this thing out, because I'm tired of its legendary actions. And that one's dead now, too. And let's we'll see if we can finish off. Nope, I hit the wrong thing. That's fine. We hit the abomination. Wasn't really what I was aiming for, but it's it's okay. 
Here comes a couple more things through the portal. Nothing's hit the Magister yet, at all. I wonder how many turns we have to wait for this to, to do its thing. Maybe that's it. We've killed many a thing. I was right about you. I must go now. Take care of Zulatsta. Take care of your world. Children of Darkness had set foot on Salasta and planted the seeds of evil deeper than anyone could have imagined. Well, I guess that's the end of the game. It was a pretty good game. I quite enjoyed it. Uh, some of the animations were a little bit janky, and Fly was pretty much a necessity, because there's a lot of elevation-related fights. But otherwise, I mean, it was a really, really fun game. I really quite enjoyed it, and it gave me a really good grasp on how 5th edition D&D uh, &D works, even though I'm playing a pen and paper game, and also Baldur's Gate 3 is coming out with a modified 5th edition rule set as well. But yeah, like I ask at the end of every major series, if you enjoyed the content please feel free to subscribe other than that we're going to start off with uh, pathfinder wrath of the righteous i think it comes out in the next couple days and then we're going to hit that one pretty hard i'm hoping that they add more to celasta later on like a dlc of some sort or an expansion that'd be wonderful it's got a it's got a great engine and combat system and it would be a shame for this to be the only sort of one-off thing for it and i really really liked it uh, yeah the only thing, I guess the only critique I would have is maybe, yeah, some of the animations are a little weird. And uh, some of the voice acting doesn't match up to the... Um, oh god, what am I thinking of? The subtitles? So I guess either maybe have the voice actors read what the subtitles are, or change the subtitles to match what the voice actors say. Either way is fine. It's just kind of weird when, like, you're reading... I find it weird when I'm reading something and then the actual... What I'm listening to doesn't match it, and it's kind of it jars you out a little bit. But otherwise, it was a very, very awesome game, and I enjoyed it greatly. That's gonna be it for this series. Like always, if you have any suggestions or comments, please them below. Otherwise, we'll see you next time. Take care.